Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, then welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to join me. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a meal plan video. I'll be sharing with you guys what meals I will be cooking for me and my family this week. And then right after this, I do have to go grocery shopping. So I will also add in that grocery haul and show you guys everything that I'm going to purchase. So what I like to do is for every week, I will write out Monday through Sunday and I will plan out my meals. I usually only plan out my dinner meals. So I'll plan out Monday through Sunday what I'm going to be cooking for dinner. I just like doing it that way because one, I just hate every day like at nighttime when it's time to start cooking dinner and I'm just sitting in my kitchen with the refrigerator open and the pantry open trying to figure out what to cook for dinner. I like knowing what I will be cooking for dinner and then also I do feel like it helps me save money if I plan out my meals because and then I can write down a list of all the ingredients I'm going to need and then I go to the grocery store with that list. So definitely meal planning, meal prepping, it definitely helps you save money. I don't meal prep necessarily as in I cook all of my meals and then I put them in containers and put them in the refrigerator, but I do meal plan, which means I will plan out all of my dinners Monday through Saturday basically because I don't cook on Sunday. Sundays are my days that I don't cook, so we either eat out or we will order in. But you are going to see that this week, Friday is actually left blank, and that is because I have to get a tooth pulled on that day, and unfortunately, it's a tooth that's like complicated, so they have to put me to sleep. So the same process that happened when I got my wisdom teeth removed is going to happen again for this tooth that's going to be getting pulled. And when I got my wisdom teeth removed, I was pretty much out of it the entire day. So I'm obviously not gonna be able to cook dinner that night. And plus, I will obviously be sore. I won't be able to eat anything unless it's like soup or something. So Friday, my husband and the kids are on their own. They're gonna have to figure out dinner. But I do have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Saturday planned out. So I will show you guys what I have planned to cook for this week, and then I'll also show you my grocery list. Okay, so this is my grocery meal plan Monday through Sunday. So as you guys can see, Friday is blank because I will be getting a tooth pulled, and then Sunday we always eat out or order in. So right here on Monday, I'm going to be making some mini shepherd pot pies with brazi bites. And then on Tuesday, I'll be making some stuffed chicken with asparagus and also roasted potatoes. Wednesday is cordon blue chicken casserole. Thursday is baked brined chicken with green beans and mashed potatoes. Friday, like I said, my kids and my husband are on their own. Then Saturday, I'll be making some lemon garlic chicken with pasta. And then Sunday, we will either eat out or order in so that is the menu for this week and as far as breakfast and lunch breakfast usually it's something really small in the morning and then for lunch we usually eat leftovers or we'll pick something up while we are out and then i also have my grocery list so i like to write down my list of everything that i'm going to need so i have my list here that i'll be taking with me to the grocery store and yeah so that is how i usually plan out my yeah, meals. This is how I plan out my meals. I usually always go into my refrigerator, go into my pantry and see what I already have and try to do my dinner meals around the things I already have so I can use up and I won't let it go to waste. So there are a few meals here that I will be using with stuff I already have on hand. I think you save a lot of money that way instead of just buying all new groceries for new recipes. Why not just use what you already have in your kitchen? So yeah, that is what I'm going to be cooking for dinner this week. Um, and like I said, once I'm done grocery shopping, I will do a haul and I'll show you guys everything that I purchased. Hey guys, so we just got home from the grocery store and I have laid everything out on the counter so I can show you guys everything that we got from the grocery store this time around. And I usually only spend around like 140, 150 on my grocery haul trips, but this time around I did spend a little more. I spent exactly 201 but I think that's because I did buy paper towels, I bought dish detergent, I also bought the kids some cups, and then I did splurge a little on some snacks, so I'm pretty sure that is why it went up to 200, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna show you guys everything that we purchased, but just an FYI, I am not claiming that this is a healthy grocery haul. I do have some healthy stuff in this haul, but 
there are some unhealthy stuff. So let me just show you guys everything that we picked up. In this up. corner is where most of the snacks are. But first over here, I do have some of these Annie's mac and cheese. They're gluten-free. Madison really loves these. Um, as most of you guys know, she is on a mostly gluten-free diet. So that's why she eats the gluten-free ones. And then I just have these lactose-free Activia um, yogurts. I am lactose intolerant, so I can't have too much dairy or it'll really upset my stomach. Then over here, this is where we get unhealthy, but I have this light whipped cream topping. I like to put whipped cream on Jello as a snack, so I bought that. Then over here are just some of these little Stonyfield organic yogurts, and the kids both love them. It's perfect to put in Ryan's school lunches, and then Madison also really likes it. It's really good for on the go. And then I have some strawberry applesauce. I did pick up some Jello because I like to have it with the whipped cream for a snack, and so does Ryan. And then over here, both the kids really love these granola bars. And then some cheddar bunnies. And then this I've already opened because I really want to try it, and they are super good. They're delicious. They are these herb crackers, and I love them. And I'm pretty sure they're going to go really well with the hummus I just bought. Then I just have these pretzel crisps. I really love these pretzel crisps, so does my husband, and they also have like I think a garlic one that's really good as well. And then some kettle potato chips. Over here we have some pistachios. Then we were out of butter, so I had to buy some more butter. And then some eggs right here. And then some popsicles. Both the kids really love popsicles. And we usually do get this brand of popsicles, but different flavors. But Ryan wanted to try these flavors, so we chose these. Then we just have some bread right here. And then over here, we have some hummus. I love hummus. I love to snack on it with either pretzels or crackers. So I bought some of this roasted pepper hummus and some potatoes, just some carrots in the snack pack form, some green beans. This bag, there is asparagus. Then there's some apples in here. Then some bananas. Then some chicken. And then I bought some ground turkey. I never really buy like the ground meat, ground beef, because I don't know, I just like the turkey better. And plus the turkey is a little bit healthier for you. So we bought some ground turkey and then two cases of strawberries. Then over here we have some turkey lunch meat and then these mozzarella cheese strings. My husband likes to take these to work as a snack. And then we have some hot dogs. Yeah, I know, hot dogs are not very healthy, especially these Nathan's probably. But I really like the Nathan's brand and my kids like hot dogs as well. So it's a good, just quick lunch on days that we're running late. And then some sharp cheddar cheese, some mozzarella cheese. And then over here I have some juice for the kids. This is the Fruit Punch Honest brand. Just some whole milk, orange juice, and then over here, I've never tried this sparkling water, and it looked interesting, so I decided to try this out. It is, in what flavor is this? This is raspberry and lime, so hopefully this is good. Comment down below if you guys have ever tried this. I usually get these sparkling waters, but they're pretty expensive. It's like $1.79, $1.80 each, so I try not to buy too many of them at a time, but this is probably one of my favorite ones. And then I bought some wine. I also was running out of coffee, so I bought some more coffee. And then over here, I bought these French toast sticks. These are really good for during the week when Ryan has school and I don't have much time in the morning. I can just throw these in the toaster. Then we needed some more jelly. Then I needed some cream of chicken for one of the recipes that I did share with you guys that I'll be doing this week for dinner. And then some oatmeal. Madison loves oatmeal. And then over here is these gluten-free chicken pot pies. Madison loves them. So I bought, I think, two of these. Bought two of the chicken pot pies and then one of the turkey pot pies. And then over here, I did talk about this in my what I eat in a day. So I like these for quick lunches as well. And this is the kale one. This one's probably my favorite. It's really good. And then that is the broccoli one. And then the last two things I picked up for some frozen fruit, I got some strawberries and then some frozen blueberries. I like to put frozen fruit in my protein shakes. So that is all the groceries that we bought this week. And Ryan wants to show you guys the cups that we bought. You want to show them? Mm -hmm. Let's lift it up. 
First is sissies, and I'm holding them. Okay, show us sissies. And so we found these in Kroger, and they were only $4.99, so I grabbed one for Madison originally because I usually buy the Contigo ones and the Thermos ones, but they have plastic straws. I'm always having to buy the little replacements because she bites on the straws, and these have plastic ones, so I thought that would be better. And then also I really like how in the middle you freeze that little centerpiece, and it keeps their water cold. So, and then Ryan got one too. Show yours. My hands are pear dinosaur. And then Ryan's is a dinosaur one. So I thought this would be really good for school. I can freeze that centerpiece, little ice pack thing. And then in school, his water will stay cold all day. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoy me sharing with you what I will be cooking for dinner this week. And also my grocery haul. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. So once I upload a video, you will be notified that I have uploaded. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.